Hi, I'm Phil Constantine with Travels with Phil. This video is about Skylab, the Skylab astronauts, acrobats in space. This is one of the very few spacecraft that actually had a lot of room inside. Now, there were three crews, three people on each one of them. They were Skylabs 2, 3, and 4. Skylab number 1 was the actual uh, space station itself. Most people don't remember it. It was America's first uh, space station. And, okay, that's me. I used to work in NASA, too. I ran the computers uh, for this mission down in Mission Control. And, well, just looky here. They didn't have a lot of time to be silly, but, all right, he's lifting 500 pounds in outer space. It wouldn't matter how much it was. But look at some of the maneuvers they can do here. It's almost as if they're flying through the area. Now, what they did was they used the uh, area inside a uh, rocket uh, tank and uh, to uh, put additional equipment in. And it, it was uh, a lot of room very very nice balancing act here now the three crews on uh, uh crew number two which was uh actually i guess the first crew but on skylab number two was pete conrad joe Kerwin, and paul whites on the uh, skylab number three was owen garriott jack lausma and al bean and then on the uh, flight number four he had uh, gerald uh, carr jerry carr ed gibson sometimes called ed hoot gibson and William Pogue. And you can just see there's a lot of things that you can do here moving around in different directions. Now there was a bet going on on whether or not you could actually run on this circular part here. Now these were uh, storage facilities around the edges here and uh, they did all kinds of bouncing and Pete Conrad actually had a bet going on as to whether or not he'd be able to run around. Well we'll see in just a minute or two here. But you can just see that on the rare occasions when they did have time to just do, uh, you know, do their own uh, thing or enjoy themselves, uh, they did some acrobats. And yes, indeed, you can run inside there if you manage to do it in the right conditions or the right circumstances and the right crouch, etc. You're able to do it. Now, it's interesting that some of the things that they are doing here is that they're able to do certain movements and then straighten themselves out. And it uh, causes a change in the way that they're moving. And uh, so there, you do have a little bit of control, but one of the problems with be, being in weightless conditions or microgravity, as it were, is that uh, it is very hard to get yourself moving away from the direction that you've started to go off in. So again, lots of spinning, lots of acrobatics. Now they spent most of their time working very, very, very hard. And actually some of this could actually be uh, qualified as uh, medical experimentations to see how well uh, your, uh, your inner ear, your balance uh, can perform once you're in these kinds of circumstances. And actually, believe me, being able to control yourself when you're spinning around can be very important in case of emergency. So this was Skylab. Skylab 1 was the ship itself for the space station. Skylab 2 was the first staffed crew. Skylab 3 the uh, second crew and then Skylab 4 was the uh, third crew. I know it's a little odd there but the, since the space station itself was number one it threw everything else off. All right, be, feel free to leave comments below as long as they're family friendly. And if you have not subscribed yet to my channel, I would appreciate it if you do that. Just can push the button over here on the right hand side and that'll let you sign up. And that way you'll be notified whenever I have new videos out there on my channel. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.